So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Clearly a lot of people want that person who allegedly committed treason against their country to be named. Both politicians didn't seem to think they should be, respected ASIO's decision not to name them. But if you looked at that poll, that was a really different response. I know there's a couple of people who've got some things to say, so I'm going to walk up the stairs without tripping. Let's see if I can do that. So far, so good. Uh, to me, we've had this muckiness in Parliament House for so long. I mean, all the awful things that happened several years ago and continue, we, snippets come out. This is just another mucky thing. And why are we not holding them accountable? Because it just, it's, you know, repeat behaviour, repeat behaviour, repeat behaviour. So you think we should know who this person is? Yes. And on your show, someone said they did know. One of the people... Oh, yeah, yeah, people think they know everything. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but one of the people said that they did know who it was. So people already know who it is. They think they know. <laughs> well, they think they know and they know. Yeah. But, still, but, but you think ASIO should reveal the information? No, I think it should come from a, the politicians, be under parliamentary privilege. Wow, OK. And what do you think? I disagree with the woman in front of me. Oh, I love um, disagreement. <laughs> Especially healthy disagreement. You're both smiling at each other. So far, so good. Yes. I, um, I actually read the entire report he made to the parliament, and there's no point in releasing the person's name. He, he kind of said, I didn't mean to do it. It was inadvertent. It was unintentional, and I apologize. What was alarming in that report was the last paragraph. Why? Uh, because he said... The biggest threat is the young people on the internet not understanding what they're doing. And that, to me, is what should be debated by the public, not the specific man's name, man or woman's name. That's yeah. just my thought. That's an interesting point. Here we go. Um, I haven't actually made up my mind, oh, but <laughs> um, I did hear an interesting perspective that um, releasing the name and then having it associated with a political party um, just creates further division, um, and that's essentially what they want. They want to create more, more division. Um, but, yeah, I'm still undecided. Mm. The other really interesting thing tonight, I mean, there were so many interesting things, but was in relation to women and whether flexibility might mean that women don't go up the greasy pole, as I like to call it, because they're kind of flexible and somehow they get missed. Katie Gallagher was really interesting there. She said it is something that they're watching. Who thinks about that, um, you know, the advancement of women and the way that the changing workplace might be affecting it? Put your hand up. So, unsurprisingly, women have put their hands up. <laughs> um, I've worked in the public sector for 15 years. Um, the last, so the last six years, I've been um, working from home. So since COVID, but since having two young children, and I think if I wasn't afforded the, the flexible working um, arrangements, I wouldn't have been able to work. I have actually managed to progress my career you know, and and continue to do things that I didn't think were possible with two small children. So I think more people need to embrace working from home. And that your career should progress. Absolutely, yeah, you know. absolutely. I think I work more than a lot of people who don't have young children and aren't working these flexible, um, flexible hours. I feel like I do a lot more in three days than some people who work full time, so. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> Give, give a busy mum a job and usually you'll get it done pretty quickly. I think I saw another hand. Was that my memory? Yeah? Come on. Let's <laughs> pass it over and then you'll all be released. I think everyone should embrace working from home and flexible working. And if more men and women without children and all of those traditional people who don't work from home did it, then there would be more opportunities for everyone to progress. That's a really yeah. good point. Okay, next Q&A is at my house, okay, guys? <laughs> yeah? That would be weird. Thank you for coming tonight. It's been great.